Hello Live Hope fam! Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Plaquenil or also known as hydroxychloroquine. So I want to start this off with a disclaimer. If you do have a medical condition or you think you need to go on Plaquenil or you're on Plaquenil, always consult a physician first. This video is simply to talk about Plaquenil, my own experiences, what it's all about, some background research that I did, and I also want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Plaquenil started off as a anti-malarial drug. It was actually used widely during World War II, and they found that the soldiers that used it with long-term use, it actually helped to decrease their symptoms of joint pain and swelling. Basically, it helped lupus and rheumatoid arthritis or connective tissue diseases alike. So what they found was that Plaquenil actually blocks a certain enzyme, which helps to decrease the proliferation of white blood cells. Plaquenil is now defined as a disease-modifying anti-malarial drug, and it is used widely among lupus patients and other rheumatic diseases. Overall, Plaquenil is a very safe drug. Compared to other lupus drugs, it's probably the safest one that I am on. There are some major side effects, but they are quite rare as well. Plaquenol also has some great preventative measures, which I'll go into more towards the end of the video. I wanna ask you all, how long have you been on Plaquenol? If you are on Plaquenol, and if you aren't, has your doctor mentioned Plaquenol at all? Or maybe it just didn't work out for you? So for me, I have been on Plaquenol for 10 years now. It was the first drug I was put on along with prednisone. And Honestly, I don't remember at that time how I was feeling, if I had any side effects, so I can't talk on that. Rosie, you want to say hi? Come say hi in the video. Say hello. <laughs> but anyway, back to my experience. So with me, I don't remember how it was. I was so young too. I really have no idea how it affected me at the time but I take it every day now and I have no effects. And a lot of people will actually say that they feel like their Plaquenil is doing nothing, but many of them find out when they come off the Plaquenil, it really was helping them with their joints and swelling. Some side effects of Plaquenil, upset stomach, headaches, diarrhea, uh, itchiness is another one. So really all the basics you're gonna get with any other drug that you take. If these get severe, talk to your doctor and see what they can do about that. One of the major side effects that is rare is damage towards your retina. So that is at the back of the eye. This is something that you'll want to see an eye specialist every year at least. Sometimes they say six months, sometimes they say a year, sometimes they'll say every five years. I would say go every year, but I'm not a doctor. That's what I do. They make sure, check in my eye, and your eyes will get dilated, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I prefer to stay on Plaquenil because I know it is one of the safer drugs. A trial done at the University of Pittsburgh actually found that those who were taking Plaquenil for at least four years at 400 milligrams had a 77% lower risk of developing diabetes compared to those who were not on Plaquenil. To me, this was cool to hear because I've been on it for 10 years and just to know that I'm slightly protected by my glucose levels and at risk. Plaquenil has also shown to have an antithrombotic effect. So that means decreasing your chances of blood clots. And many of us with lupus, we have a higher risk of blood clotting. So again, I thought that was cool to hear because I have always been nervous about blood clots. Again, this is not as superior as warfarin or, I forgot the other one, heparin. I think I'm saying those right. Correct me if I'm wrong. And the last cool fact I want to share with you all, it's actually going to be up on the screen. So this was another study done and it said, with Plaquenil, by preventing the formation of autoantibodies and immune complexes, diminishing inflammation and favorably acting at the vascular endothelia level, antimalarials may contribute to an adequate therapeutic response in patients with lupus nephritis, retarding the onset of renal damage. So by sharing this, it shows that being on Plaquenil can also reduce further damage in your kidneys. And that is so important in those of us with lupus. 
overall what that study was saying is that because Plaquenil helps to decrease those autoantibodies, it helps to decrease blood clotting and your glucose levels, keeps them in check. So all of those factors together are gonna benefit the kid kidneys. I hope you all enjoyed that video. That is all I have for today. I have been on Plaquenil the longest and I don't plan on coming off it anytime soon unless something were to happen to my eyeballs. But let me know your experiences in the comments below. I also want to say that I do have new merchandise. I have these wolf hoodies now up on my website along with the t-shirts and another shirt as well for Invisible Illness Warriors. Go ahead and check those out in the links and subscribe, get notified. Like the video if you like this video, share it if you wanna share it with your friends or other fellow lupus warriors, invisible illness warriors, anyone who might be affected by this. I'll see you next time, bye.